man of the hour. He's a busy guy. He took out some time to talk to us this morning. He's got a busy week in head and a busy week here in Speedway. You mentioned Doug Bulls here joining us this morning. First off, Doug, thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, happy to be here. It's a race day, which is great. Race day. We got a race tomorrow. We also have a race today. Talk about today and just the next couple of days being busy here in Speedway. Yeah. So this morning, or right at noon, we'll actually qualify for the race we're going to have later today, which is the Xfinity race. A step right below the the Cup cars, and then Cup will qualify, and then we'll have that race today. And then our Cup guys will do the Brickyard 400, the 30th one or the 30th anniversary of the Brickyard 400 tomorrow. You know, we've talked to fans who've been to every single Brickyard that have fans. We've talked to someone been here from Nebraska. This is the first time here. What is it about Speedway and the track that kind of attracts people to keep coming back year after year? I think a lot of it is just the history how long the place has been around it's a great big massive facility if you've never been to a race before or never been to a race here a lot it's on people's bucket list so that's why you get people who travel around and people come to Brickyard weekend because it isn't quite as intimidating as Indy 500 weekend when you have 350,000 people here well the past couple years they've been doing the road course now we're back on the oval how excited are drivers fans that had to be back on the oval for the Brickyard yeah I think everybody's pretty excited to have it back on the oval certainly I've heard from a bunch of fans over the last couple weeks and yesterday when we were open for practice tons of people talking about exciting excitement being back at the oval most of the drivers are excited Michael McDowell who won on the road course doesn't want to be off in the oval he'd rather stay on the road course We've got a few of our older drivers who uh, didn't run so well yesterday and they're complaining about it but for the most part everybody's pretty excited about being on the oval you know, before our last hit, I saw a check, and I was kind of stand by uh, Yard of Bricks and kind of just stand there and kind of take in what this place means for those drivers, for the crew chiefs. Winning here means something. For those, put in perspective for those fans what it's like to win here and just to be in the atmosphere. Well, 115 years ago in August, we started racing on the oval here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So when you think about that history, the number of drivers who've competed here, the number of drivers who've won here, I think that's what somebody like Chad is looking at when they walk out there, just the history and tradition, knowing if you win at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you've won wanted a place where are some of the icons of our sport, not just in the last few years, but over history of one. And then for people coming today, what can they expect? I know it's gates open here in a couple hours. What can they expect when they come in? My favorite thing about events at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is 15 and under free. So if you're coming today and you got kids 15 and under, bring them with you because they're they're free, especially uh, today. Get them on out here today. It'll be less less crowded, so it's an opportunity really to kind of see around. Uh, you can walk around, sit in the grandstand, sit in some of our spectator mounds right here, the, right before the drivers meeting along along yard of bricks on this side of the, of the pagoda. Opportunity to see all those drivers as they walk to their cars. So a lot of fun stuff today. You're a busy man. I'm going to let you get back and take care of some business. Doug, thanks for joining me this morning. Again, we got a couple of drivers actually coming up next in our next hour. We're going to be talking to find out their thoughts about racing today and if they have the chance to kiss the yard of bricks. But at the track this morning, I'm Charles Winberry, Fox 59 News.